the first and final update of Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix is finally here. Being the final Fortnite update we do get before we go to Fortnite Chapter 6 in December, obviously it's going to mean the addition of all of the brand new Icon Series outfits, from the arrival of Ice Spice, who is now confirmed to be arriving at Fortnite this week, along with Juice World, who we do know is also going to be getting a brand new Icon Series outfit, including that all brand new free one, and even the addition of all brand new free rewards that you want to make sure you're getting on your account as soon as possible. So trust me, don't go anywhere. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now if you want this to be your Fortnite account in exactly 65 days. And well, if you don't, this will be your account. So the choice is all yours. Do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have been picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop, do consider using my support creator code, YTRA, as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. Well, let's not waste any more time and jump straight into today's video. So first up with the brand new Fortnite update, we're finally getting the arrival of a brand new Fortnite cosmetic, coming in the form of the brand new Fortnite kicks, which obviously you can actually see on the TNT and quest rewards that we currently have in game right now, obviously being available on the second page. And we will finally be able to unlock this brand new cosmetic, with these shoes being equipable on I believe 500 cosmetics at launch. And then by the time we do get to 2025, I believe they did say that 95% of all cosmetics in Fortnite will actually be able to use these brand new shoes which is actually pretty cool obviously it just means even more customization for us to obviously be able to deck out our character and we're obviously going to be seeing the arrival of brand new kicks make their way into the fortnite item shop and also inside of future battle passes as we do even know that we're supposed to be getting a free pair of slippers very soon which you can actually see up on screen right here do seem to be a pair of shark slippers which i think is kind of funny and while it's not exactly known on how exactly we will actually be able to get these but we do know that once they're available we will be giving you guys a heads up. And to be honest, I definitely think I'm going to be rocking these with Midas, as I honestly think it's a match made in heaven. So be sure to let me know down in the comments out of any combos you guys can think of with these brand new kicks, as I honestly think they're going to be a pretty cool addition to Fortnite, especially with all of the upcoming skins that we will be getting, especially when it does come to Fortnite Chapter 6. But we have just found a M&M Llama on the island right next to the Dog Pound. I didn't realize these actually spawned outside of the actual grotto location, but nonetheless, I suppose we'll loot up and see what we got mats shield and a grappler oh it wasn't the only one it seems who wanted to grab the llama okay we got one there i know where your teammates are real quick Bro's teammates are nowhere to be found here. But not only that, we do know with the brand new Fortnite update, we're also getting the addition of the brand new super styles that will be available for this season's remix battle pass. With five of the brand new outfits actually getting these styles, which is actually pretty cool, such as Meowdis, the one ball outfit, the undercover sky outfit, the chaos director, and also the Dynamo Tiantina, which are actually going to be getting these brand new styles. And I'm really curious what exactly they're going to be. Because they're not the obvious would obviously to actually have them be gold at a style but I don't think that's actually going to be the case this time. Consider we do obviously have Meowdus already in the battle pass and one of his actual enlightened edit styles allows him to actually turn gold the longer you do actually get eliminations. So it would be kind of pointless to just give Meowdus a gold style unless they do something a little bit different with it just like last year when we did obviously have gold styles for all of those OG battle pass outfits. But we do know that you will actually start unlocking these styles in between the levels of level 50 and also level 70 so I have all of the battle stars needed to get these rewards Awards as soon as they're available so be sure to let me know down in the comments what level are you currently here in Fortnite remix as obviously those brand new edit styles are only going to be available for two weeks time before we go into Fortnite chapter 6 season 1 and on the topic of Fortnite chapter 6 it looks like Fortnite have actually just officially come out and announced that Fortnite OG will be returning next month on December 6 we will be seeing the return of Fortnite OG permanently which I still honestly can't wrap my mind around but we do know that how this will be working is we will be rotating throughout the seasons of Fortnite Chapter 1 on a monthly basis. Obviously, starting in December, we will be going to Chapter 1 Season 1, and then sometime around January, we will be going into Chapter 1 Season 2. And this obviously will go all the way up to Fortnite Chapter 1 Season X, which should be sometime around September or October of 2025, which I honestly think is pretty cool. It's definitely going to be cool to see everybody get a chance to be able to play all of those seasons in their full, as obviously Fortnite OG was completely rushed, and I know a lot of people didn't get a 
chance to fully explore those different islands. So be sure to leave your thoughts on that down in the comments. But we do also have brand new leaks about the end of season remix finale event, which is going to be happening on the 30th of November. So definitely be sure you're staying tuned for that. But we do have a few people up here at Frenzy Fields. I wonder if we can grab a few of them. Oh god, we need to get out of this car. There's one. Oh, this guy's running off completely. Where are you off to, bro? There's you down. Oh, there he is. And back to the lobby, bro. But obviously, this brand new Fortnite update is going to be focused around bringing Ice Spice to the Fortnite island with the arrival of the shark yet again on the island. Which obviously we have seen in the actual trailer for Fortnite Remix. Actually, it does look pretty cool. We can obviously see a giant inflatable version of Ice Spice sitting on top of the actual shark. And we do know she's actually going to be getting two brand new outfits, obviously being available inside of the Fortnite item shop. Along with two brand new emotes, which I'm really curious of what songs are actually going to be from Ice Spice. And as she will actually be a brand new boss that you will be able to find at the shark location and she will be carrying what looks to be a brand new mythic scar which obviously is just going to be a remix version of sky scar that we had back in the original chapter 2 season 2 and also a brand new mythic grappler and obviously she's going to be the third artist that we do get for Fortnite remix as we already have snoop dogg at the agency eminem at the grotto and now ice spice at the shark and we also will be getting the arrival of juice roll as well with a brand new location on the island most likely coming in roughly about a week or two which is actually going to be called i believe juice world's point which was actually going to be located somewhere around the rig location as eminem actually does have teasers for this inside of the grotto location which you can actually see right here it's definitely going to be pretty cool as we do know juice world is actually supposed to be getting his very own mythic item which i believe is supposed to be a juice world's chug cannon so i'm actually kind of curious to what exactly this is going to be as we do know Fortnite have actually been working on the cybertron cannon inside of the game files so it could either be a brand new version of that cyber Cybertron cannon, or it could even be the Chug Splash mythic item, which I think would definitely be pretty cool. Which obviously is going to mean a brand new Juice World NPC, and seeing as how his brand new mythic item isn't going to be a weapon, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just an NPC alone. And we obviously do know he's going to be getting two brand new skins as well. Obviously, one of them which was seen in the actual trailer for Fortnite Remix, and then the second one, which is supposed to be some sort of anime cell shaded version of Juice World, which you actually will be able to get for absolutely free on November 30th, so be sure you're just logging into Fortnite on that date which is definitely pretty cool just ahead of that brand new finale live event which honestly we have so much information about so definitely be sure you're staying tuned for that but we do only have 14 people left and it looks like we have quite the amount of the trouble up here so i think we'll try see what we can do and then go over that brand new live event which is going to be added with the brand new Fortnite update we have a guy just here on his own see if we can get him real quick let's go on the bridge here Oh, please fall. Please fall. Oh, there he goes. Back to the lobby, bro. Man, I feel like boogie bombs don't last near as long as they used to. We have so many people over us right now. All right, we need to get off the zip line. There's you. Oh, there he is. I was trying to come in with the snipe. And there we go. Nice cheeky win. So we do know that with the brand new and remix finale live event that we're going to be getting on November 30th, we do know that all of the artists that we have here in remix are going to be performing a massive concert on the Fortnite island, which actually is going to revolve with them characters actually turning into giants, just like the Travis Scott event we had in Chapter 2 Season 2. As there was actually some behind the scenes footage actually revealed of somebody actually recording the motion capture for the event itself, where you can actually see in the screen behind him, we can see what looks to be a giant Snoop Dogg dancing around the agency. And thanks to some brand new leaks as well, it looks like we're also going to be seeing a giant Ice Boys dancing around the shark, a giant M&M dancing around the grotto, and then most likely we will be seeing a giant Juice World dancing around his brand new location as well, which is actually going to be pretty cool, so we're going to have a whole lot going on on the island. And it looks like it's going to be even bigger than that Travis Scott event was, as obviously back in that season, we obviously had a giant Travis walking across the Fortnite chapter two season two island which honestly was a pretty cool event but it does look like this new one is going to be upping the ante even more so be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for it and also be sure to log on on the day of the event itself you don't even need to attend the event to get that brand new free juice world skin but this is all arriving with the brand new Fortnite update arriving very very shortly 
But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you're not already, do consider using my support creator code YTORAY inside of the Fortnite item shop as it greatly supports the channel. Hashtag ad. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.